guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kahilo or K, and welcome to episode eight of this podcast. I haven't filmed the podcast in a few months, but as usual, if you're subscribed to my channel, you'll see all of the other content that I post on my channel all the time. I post a lot of vlogs, which actually we'll talk about that in a little bit, okay? But I post a lot of vlogs, knit and chats. Well, I try to post a lot of knit and chats, and yeah podcasts when I can. I've been having a great time sitting and chatting so I was just like you know what it's time to film another podcast plus all of my projects have been piling up on each other like my finished objects and my whips so I'm just like it's time to talk to you guys about it clear it out so I can have like fresh new stuff to talk about next time next podcast which now we can talk about it. I want to start filming podcasts more often than I am right now. Usually it's like whenever I have time to because I'm just like too busy filming vlogs and stuff like that. But since I opened up my membership, which my membership is just another way to support me, I have three different tiers and join button is by the subscription button. If you don't see it, it's linked down below so then you can click it and then just check out all the perks that you can get but for my members thank you guys for being members you guys a vlog will be coming to you this video is coming out the 2nd of october you guys will be seeing a vlog from me on wednesday so look out for that and if you haven't checked it out already i already have a vlog for my members so go ahead and check that out if you haven't already and yeah so i want to have more of my vlogs before my members just because it's easy simple content to film and i feel like i can i can film a lot of vlogs so and plus for the public i want to post more podcasts i want to just have more sit down videos use my podcast as a way to just update you guys on my projects that i'm working on and just have more knit and chats as well to sit chat with you guys and discuss topics that have been on my mind and yeah just have more of my personal life behind a paywall basically modeling after what laura penrose is deciding to do with her vlogs and stuff i was like i really like that so if you want to see personal life and stuff that content will be going to my members i might drop you know a vlog here and there but it might be more like project vlogs rather than like project and life vlogs and then the life vlogs will just be for my members so yeah i think do i have another update if you guys don't know, I'm getting into designing. I am going to be designing throws slash blankets, and I'll be documenting that process for my members as well. So if you want to hear all about my designing, it'll be there. My cat is crying. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, he just wants pets. Forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, I don't have a video out about my designing process and my design i do have a few pictures if you guys are members so you can check that out but yeah i will have a video soon i'm getting that bug to get back on it it's gonna be nice my first my first throw is gonna be a nice like cable texture throw slash blanket so i'm very excited for that anyway all of this to say if you want more from me join my memberships I will have more podcasts and in chats for the public for everyone though. So yeah. Anyway, let's talk about what I'm wearing. I'm wearing oh, one of my finished objects. It is the Leon sweater by Petite Knit. And oh my gosh, when I tell you I love this sweater, this is like, I say this about all of the sweaters that I finish, but this is my favorite sweater right now. This is my favorite sweater. It's so good. It's so cozy. I use Double Sunday by Seniscarn and dude. My sister Malika, she used Double Sunday for her Marseille sweater by Petite Knit and it blocked out beautifully. But I personally did not work with Double Sunday before. It is one of my new favorite yarns because this, oh my gosh, this sweater. First of all, knitting it up, so soft, so beautiful. Like, this yarn is so soft. Uh, I just, oh my gosh. I've worked with Pierre Gimp before for my Louvre sweater by Petite Knit. And that one is like, 
on the more like rustic feeling side it's not like rustic rustic but it's like you know you can feel little prickles here and there but with this yarn you cannot feel it at all and i'll also insert a picture for you guys to see because i'm not standing up for you to see my sweater <laughs> Sorry. not gonna happen but yeah this just this was such an easy knit i really love the construction of it if you guys can see it's like the poppy tea and i knitted the poppy tea as well and it was like this weird construction i haven't knit it before and then this sweater has that like same construction but like in sweater form so very fun i would highly suggest knitting at least the poppy tee if you want to have this type of like weird construction i'll insert a picture so you guys can see it's a very cool construction it's like a faux drop shoulder raglan type like i don't even know how to explain it it's just really good it makes you feel like ooh, while you're knitting it up like i'm doing something interesting <laughs> But yeah, very fun double Sunday four millimeter needles and I started this project in Sweden when I went to Sweden earlier in June Yeah, it was June. It is the Sweden project for my sisters and Alexandra we started our little tradition every time we go to Sweden we have to have a Sweden project so last year when we went in September it was the Chunky Dahlia by Le Knit and it was just I love that sweater so much and this year it's the Leon sweater so next year we'll have something else and it's gonna be fun we'll every time I see this I think ah Sweden you know so it's just nice to have this little it's a little memento. So yeah, this is my first finished object and the only finished object that I have physically because I did not feel like pulling out the other finished objects because I have pictures. I can show you the pictures and I can talk about the yarn and yeah. If you want to see the finished objects like in video form, I have so many other vlogs and videos where I mention them but yeah I'm not I'm not pulling them out <laughs> anyway so my next one is my Marco Polo by Creadia Studio oh my gosh I am obsessed the collar oh my gosh that's like the best feature I remember when the Elizabeth Bloss by Petite Knit came out and I was like oh yeah I'm knitting that that'll be the first the first project that I knit with a collar and then the test knit <laughs> came out for the Marco Polo and I joined and oh my gosh the best thing ever but you guys <laughs> listen listen if you want to knit on tiny needles aka 2.5 and 2 millimeter needles this is a project for you okay if you don't this might not be for you because I knitted this tee on 2.5 millimeter needles. The collar was two millimeter needles. Yeah, yeah, that was insane. I don't think I will do something like that again for a garment, okay? Like an adult garment. I can probably do it for, you know, a little baby knit, that's fine. But for an adult, 2.5 millimeter needles, Oh my gosh but it was so much fun because it's like how am i working up something like this on such tiny needles like how are these stitches so tiny oh my gosh but yeah the test it was great the test is actually still going on but i finished mine let me see i finished mine august 3rd yeah august yeah or even before august 3rd because that's when i posted a picture so yeah i'm shocked though even though i think i got the test knit in like may i think the test knit started in may i don't know when it started hold on let me see when i first posted i post like all of my projects on instagram so yeah i'm able to know the timeline of like whenever i post a picture about a project or like the yarn I know I started around that time so 
May 10th is when I first posted about this <laughs> about this project and I finished in August and there are people who are still working on their project. I think it's because like a lot of us aren't monogamously knitting, you know, on it. So, and it's on 2.5 millimeter needles. So it's going to take a longer time, which I'm so glad I was done with it. I was just like, oh my gosh, I was ready to knit on. I finished like two other test knits by the time I finished this tee. But like I said, it was great. I used Superwash Merino hand-dyed yarn from Explore Knits called don't be jelly i'm pretty sure and it was so much fun like the colorway is just so beautiful i love hand dyed yarn especially variegated hand dyed yarn like it's just my love like my stash is filled with this filled with tonos as well but like variegation mm, i love it so what else about this test knit the collar was so easy to knit up in a button band like or faux button band because it didn't have any I think only the men's version had actual buttonholes, but that was such a fun project. Like the button band was so easy, the collar was so easy, and now I know how to knit a button band and a collar. Yeah. And I can say I knitted a, an adult garment on 2.5 millimeter needles. Like I said, I'm not doing that again. But it was fun! A great experience. All right, next up we have another test knit. I can't believe I went from not wanting to ever test knit to being on my sixth test knit for the year from May. <gasps> that is so crazy and so cool to me. I've learned so much through test knitting. Oh, this sound, it didn't sound like I said test knitting, but test knitting, test knitting. I learned so much. Oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So my next test knit or next finished object is the Not to Dress by Ula Knitwear. We love Ula Knitwear. Oh my gosh. That dress. Mwah. So great. Insert pictures here. The yarn was sponsored by Isaya and it was just. It's just so good. I just always say Isaya ever since I heard, I forgot who I heard say Isaya and I was like, I'm sticking with Isaya. But Khalil says Isagir. Alex from Alexandra's Garden says Isagir. So sometimes I might go back and forth between Isaya and Isagir, but that company. <laughs> the yarn was sponsored by them and I used I'm like, I don't remember, so Instagram save me, please. I use Trio One and Marilyn, both by Isaya. So Trio One was double stranded and Marilyn was single stranded. So triple stranded, uh, right? Or maybe not. Yes, okay, double stranded. Woo! I love me. Yeah, so triple stranded and it was just such a fun knit. Like, oh my gosh, I think that was my, was that my first dress? I don't know if it was my first dress or not, but it was such, such a fun and easy, easy beginner friendly knit. So highly suggest it. All of my links will be down below. So knit up that dress it's it's so beautiful it's so good oh my gosh it's so good i was knitting on four millimeter needles for me at least and what else i don't think i have anything else i think that's it it was beautiful it was great and i'm in another test knit by Ulla Knitwear. Listen, if I can knit all of her patterns, I would knit all of her patterns. I'll be a part of all of her test knits, but I don't have eight arms, sadly, so I can only pick. So I, I've done the Fjord tee, the Not to Dress, and I think this is my third one. I write down all of my test knits, so let, let me go to my test knitting folder. Yeah, Fjord tee, Not to Dress, and now, I guess I can tell you guys, I am part of the Sand Cardigan Test Knit by Ulla Knitwear. And 
insert picture of the sand cardigan, the cardigan that reaches your ankles. Oh, and a yarn. This isn't even part of finished objects, but who cares? We're just sitting here talking and knitting. I hope you're enjoying it. It is what it is, you know? Oh my gosh. The yarn, Aaron Tweed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I need to look it up. I need to look. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? Yes. I need to see a sand cardigan for myself right now because, oh, so good. I got my color. I got navy blue. Oh my gosh. It's so good. The yarn isn't here yet, but I am so excited to show you guys the yarn. Oh my gosh, mm, it's gonna be so good. And because I'm going to be filming more podcasts now, you guys will probably see it relatively soon. And hopefully it's a whip and not just yarn by then. Oh gosh, and it's gonna be a lot of yarn because the sand cardigan is so long. Mmm, mmm. I'm so excited for that. Like, oh my gosh, you guys don't understand. You guys don't understand. It's going to be like the perfect, like rustic cardigan. I've been wanting to knit this up for months, okay? I found out about this months ago. But of course, you know, can't talk about it. But I've been wanting to knit this for months and it's finally here. I'm very excited. Anyway, back to the not to dress. It's great knit it up I don't think I have anything else to say about that so moving on to the next one. Oh, last one so four four finished objects last one toast the tea my toast the tea right here oh my gosh this is my third toast the tea yeah my third toast the tea because my first one was Sorella yarn the lover yarn my second one was knitted in Drops Lima, I'm pretty sure. And then this one was knitted in two strands. The first one was two strands of fingering. This one is two strands of fingering. I think the yarn is from Explorer Knits. I don't know. Let's see, as usual, Instagram. Ooh, I love this Tulsa tea. Yeah, Death Valley by Explorer Knits so pretty the toasted tea is such a perfect tea to knit up like I was going ham knitting up my toasted teas I was just like toasted tea toasted tea toasted tea by Craybea did I say it's by Craybea like her patterns are so great and to have a basic tea like that I'm like uh it's like the simplest tea ever and it's so great so yeah I think also because it's knitted on five millimeter needles with DK weight so it's just like a very open beautiful knit yeah so good oh gosh I am definitely gonna be knitting more next year mm, well it depends because if my sister comes out with her own tea I'll just be knitting up hers but the toasted tea is still great and I'll probably have one on needles either way <clears throat> just saying Okay, so that is it for my finished objects, finally. I'm trying not to make this be too long, but also I do talk a lot, so. Oh well. Now we have the whips where I will be pulling this out and showing you guys, okay? Because they're all in bags here next to me. My finished objects were already tucked in other places and I was just like, mm-mm. But this? my whips are here so let's talk about my whips okay the first one mm -mm -mm -mm, is the stripe hype dress by Kutsvikika. i have it in this project bag right here from furls got this like years ago so here is my progress so far Ooh, look at these colors you guys so the yarn that i'm using is happy place yarn by TL Yarn Crafts with Hobie. And I actually have an affiliate link down below in my description box for you guys if you want to purchase the yarn. It doesn't charge you anything extra, just gives me a little change if you buy from that link. So if you want this yarn, go ahead and do it. This yarn, let me pull out a ball for you guys. My favorite, which one is my favorite color? Oh, this one right here. Mm. Mm. 
So this is this right here. This beautiful Happy Place yarn. I'm using eight colors from Happy Place and it is 50% cotton and 50% wool this is such a soft yarn and it does not feel like cotton at all okay or even like look like cotton it's so nice and fluffy and even though the camera to me is showing like it's like a blue like it's still a blue but this is more like a tealy a tealy blue tealy oceany blue i don't know very beautiful this is my favorite color and oh it's so soft it's so much fun to work up like it doesn't split at all even though it looks like it would this is also another one of my favorite colors this color right here oh so good so soft so yeah i was like i need to cast on a project immediately to show off these colors and i was like what can i do stripe hype dress i've been wanting to knit on a stripe hype dress Ever since Kalila, she test knitted the stripe pipe dress and I was just like, I need that <laughs> immediately. So yeah, this is my progress. I'm just in the round now and I'm just going to continue until it's really long or at least touching my shins, you know? So yeah, it's knitted on four millimeter needles. Yeah, I have my four millimeter needles on here and... What else? That's it. That's it for the project. It is not currently an active whip, sadly, because I have other whips that I'm working on that I'm prioritizing, but I'm hoping to get some progress in it in the next couple of months. Yeah. Next up, we have a test knit. Yes. I have a sand cardigan test knit whenever my yarn comes in that I'm gonna start and I have another active test knit it is the stick season sweater by Crea Bea and it is so much fun <laughs> so much fun to knit up I have lots of progress aka look at this tiny sweater oh my gosh <laughs> Her sweaters are so true to size and I know this going into it, but even when I knit it up, I'm like, dang, that is true to size for real. Like true to size and it, it just reaches your waist and yeah. I even added like two extra inches on a body than what she recommended because my torso is long, so anyway, this is going to block out nicely and it looks so tiny. Trust me, it's not that tiny. But yeah, so this is it, the beautiful rib detail. I'm currently knitting on the collar, as you guys can probably see. The body has like this beautiful rib detail going down the sides and it goes up like the back as well. If you guys can see that right here. And yeah, I actually made a mistake somewhere in this beautiful rib texture or yeah rib texture because I dropped a stitch and I picked it back up but I picked it back up like the wrong way or something and so it looked like I had two pearls somewhere but listen can you see it because I can't even find it right now so I'm like it doesn't matter. So I'm knitting on a collar. I'm going to finish the collar and then I'm going to work on the sleeves. And I'm very excited for that. So yeah, I'm using a cone. Holtzgarn Super Soft in a color Glacier. Such a pretty cone. And I'm pairing it with some Isaiah Mohair. Soft Silk Mohair. Boom, like look at this. Ooh, such a great color pairing. So those two create this. And I think I'm like the only one in the test that using mohair <laughs> for this project, but I didn't want to knit on just one strand of DK because I really wanted to use this yarn and I thought it would be perfect, even the color. Everyone else is like, knitting in like browns, burgundies, greens, and with one strand of DK because that's what Rebecca knitted hers on and 
very fall vibes and i'm just over here like yeah my blue sweater with a strand of mohair and fingering like mm, okay so it makes it look a little different like the texture because it's more like airy and like i don't know with a strand of dk you can definitely like the stitches pop more and it's very sturdy i guess you can say but Listen, I love my mohair and this is going to be perfect. So yeah, I'm going to try and finish the collar today after I'm done filming. So then I can start on the sleeves and yeah, so I can finish this because I want to finish this before my yarn comes in for the sand cardigan. So then when the yarn comes in, I can just immediately start on the cardigan and not have to worry about another test knit. But even if it does come in before I finish the sweater, I'm going to finish the sweater and then start the sand cardigan. So, yeah. That is an active whip. That is my number one whip that I'm working on right now. And then I have number two active whip. I mean, it just got activated again. Okay? Just got activated. Also, six season sweater is in my big petite knit bag. Next up, I have... Ooh, I love this yarn combo so much. I have my balloon sweater by Petite Knit. This is what it's looking like. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Mm, it's so cozy and soft. And this is knitted on four millimeter needles. I'm currently on like one side of the body, basically. And I am knitting this on Rainbow Sprinkles by Camellia Fiber Co. It is her Pride Month colorway that she literally only brings out in the month of June. Oh, can you guys see this? It is so pretty. And I am pairing it with some Knitting for Olive mohair cloud sky it's like this hold on this like white mohair with like a pink hue if you guys can see that and these two hello i'm filming these two pair together give me this right here i wonder if you can see both at the same time no oh maybe Ooh. ah this makes me so happy this is so great so yeah i did it on four millimeter needles and i just started knitting this up again because mainly because i saw chelsea start knitting hers up again i'm knitting this with my sister alex and chelsea alex is knitting on the balloon cardigan instead of the sweater and oh my god chelsea's pairing for her balloon sweater oh it's so good it is so good and she got a lot of progress on hers and i'm just like okay yeah it's it's time to activate this whip again okay and i will be knitting on this today at some point i'm very excited for it all right so those are like my three main big whips and then i have two smaller whips I'm only going to show one because I got some progress on it, but I have the Weekend Hat by Petite Knit on the needles. Did I say this balloon sweater was by Petite Knit? Balloon sweater by Petite Knit. If not, I wrote it on there for you guys anyway. Anyway, I have the Weekend Hat by Petite Knit. I literally got like a row of progress in it, so I'm not going to show it. But that's on the needles, just sitting there. And then yesterday, for some reason, I just like got in a mood to knit on a sock, so because I picked up walking again and I have one sock done it is in the colorway sad girl autumn by red door fiber studio I literally got this yarn 2021 autumn and I started it February of this year this year yeah February of this year and I have one sock done and I'm on the second sock okay so I just finished the leg, so I just need to do the heel flap, turn, and gusset, and then I'll be on the foot. And yeah, so I just had a nice little urge. Here's a nice little close-up of it, if you guys, if it can clear up. There you go. 
look at that oh and then i'm doing this is a classic no this is a vanilla socks by crazy sock lady and i did a two by two rib for the cuff because i saw chelsea from true lane knit her socks on with two by two rib instead of one by one and i was like oh that is so sexy. I'm doing that. I'm, I'm taking that. So now I'm doing it. And then Kalila saw me doing it. And she's like, oh, I'm doing that. So we're just all two by two rib gals for our socks. So yeah, this is a whip that's there. That's like kind of active, kind of not. It's just, it's just chilling there for now. Yeah. Alrighty. And that is it for whips. So I have one, two, three, four, five whips. Three of them are big and two of them are active and one is like mm, kind of active well let's get into acquisitions eee! oh my gosh yes acquisitions because i actually have some so which one should i start off well you guys saw the happy place yarn that is an acquisition so that's one and then i have eee! i saw this colorway and i was like i have to have it have to Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this orange masterpiece. This is so beautiful. And I have like orange yarn right here from Hedgehog Fibers that I got in Sweden. But it's like, hold on. But it's like a, like a lighter orange. It's not like a super super orange you know like this is like oh oh that's orange right there and then i have like some other orange but it's like it's not this you know so i had to get a sweater quantity in this and i'm just oh i am so excited for this i'm just imagining Knitting for Olive's orange mohair with this. I use Knitting for Olive's orange mohair with my It's Not a Sweatshirt sweater that I paired with Biche Bouche Lamb's Wool cashmere yarn. And so good. So good. I will insert a picture for you guys if I haven't already. But yeah, this right here. It just makes me so happy. I think the green in it sold me sold me to this yarn like i haven't read any of emily henry's books mainly because i'm not a contemporary rom-com person i like fantasy but a lot of people are saying that it's really good so i might have to check it out and see but i was like that yarn you're coming with me and my last acquisition is it is the Sorella Needles by Sorella Yarn. And this case is nice. Like, the colorway is cool, but the material, it just, like, picks up everything. Like, I cannot stand the material. But let's open it up. These needles are so pretty. Like, very, very pretty. It comes with... 3.5 and goes up to 8 millimeter needles and just comes with your standard cords and everything in here as well. And yeah, very pretty set. Probably my one of my prettier sets, actually. Like, aesthetic-wise. But I don't recommend these needles. And if you want to know why I don't recommend the needles, watch my last video. And yeah, in the first, like, five minutes... I think after five minutes is when I start talking about it. It's when my sister comes in. So if you see someone with white hair entering as you're scrubbing, you can start from there. And we both talk about the Sorella needles. So yeah, that's an acquisition. And that is the last acquisition. So I think that's all I have for you guys. I Like I said, I want to start, you know, filming more podcasts for you guys and just using it as like, project updates you know instead of like using my vlogs as project updates for you guys i can use my podcast as project updates just sit down talk to you guys go i can go into details actually more than i usually do which will be pretty fun so yeah just like changing up the structure of my podcasts 
basically a little bit just so I can be consistent with filming more often because I want to film these more often. It's so much fun. What's coming up for me? A video is dropping for my members this week. I'm pretending that it's October 2nd, so, okay. So a video's coming out for my members. I am going to finish this stick season sweater. I'm going to start on a sand cardigan, knit more on my balloon sweater. I'm going to be filming a knit and chat, another knit and chat. And it's going to be talking about a topic that I haven't really talked about before that I've been doing more research into. I'm excited for that because it's gonna be a nice little discussion and I have lots of questions and lots of learning and I'm very excited. So yeah, that's gonna be a knit and chat that I will be filming soon. And yeah, I'm very excited. So I think that's all I have for you guys. If you want extra content from me, like I've said before, join my membership. Even if you don't want extra content, you just want to support me in another way, you can check out my tiers and see which level you want to support me at. And even if you are able to support me through memberships, just liking this video, commenting and watching helps me and my channel grow. And I'm just so excited for the future because I have so many plans, you guys. So many plans. So thank you guys for supporting me and sending through this video and watching me it means a lot i'm so excited we are so close to 10k and at 10k i'm going to be doing a nice little giveaway yarn giveaway okay so be prepared for that that's all i have for you guys thank you so much for watching this video let me know what you worked on while watching because i would love to know don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell because it will notify you guys whenever i post another video and also don't forget to follow me on instagram because that's where i update you guys on anything dealing with my yarn projects life anything and i'll see you guys in the next one